pulse-pounding adventure today for the pole position team and the chicken who knew too much. <laughs> Gonna make it. Uh, wanna make five bucks? Sure, if it's legal. Take this to the pole position team and give them this message. Oh, I hate crowds. Professor, how nice to finally catch up with you. Hey, where's the bird? That kid took him. Well, go after him. Why me, Byron? Because you let the professor and the bird escape in the first place, Shelly. Oh, right. Time for the big finale, Rhodey.
an argument for me, Daisy. This is for you. From Barney Morrison to Dr. Zachary. Hey, uh, wait a minute. Hey, don't put that on me. Cool it, Rody. What's it supposed to be? I think it's a chicken, Dan. A chicken? Very funny. Ouch. Oh, boy. Who position's got a new pet? <laughs> Sorry, guys. That boy said this was Prunkle Zachary. <gasps> then let's call him and find out what's going on. Hey, you! What'd you do with that chicken? Barney Morrison is one of the most eminent archaeologists in the world. He and I are old friends. <laughs> and I suppose he knew you liked chicken? I don't think this is a joke, Dan. Professor Morrison must have some vital reason. Maybe it's a clue to something. Maybe. See what you can find out and let me know. Good luck. Hey, in there! Open up! What can we do for you? It's your lucky day, pal. There's a chicken you got that I want. Chicken? There's no chicken here. Come on, guys. Make your prize. Boy, you really like chicken. Uh, sorry, we don't have any. But if you want, you could buy Kuma. Yeah! Can you teach a chicken to talk, Dan? The bird! I think it just said a mouthful. After it! Ah, uh, pure simplicity. <laughs> Are you just generally bad news or what? Dan, it's driving away. Hey, hey, hold it. Oh, he's gone. Well, that's that. Yeah, right. See you around. Not if we see you first. Turner Farms. Quick, Dan. I spotted the name of the farm on the side of that truck. We've got to hurry. What's this? The Alcott Apartments. Maybe it's the professor's address. We better check it out, Tess. This may be the clue, not the chicken. Then why did he want to buy it so badly? You better go after that chicken while I get the address. Right. Professor Morrison's room. Is that the professor? Yes, but no one's seen hide nor hair of him for days. Do you have any idea where he might be? He and his assistants were sniffing around the old ghost town. You might try there. G -g ghost town? Thanks. Come on, Daisy. Can't go in the front way. The goon who caused this mess is in there talking to the farmer. So we'll just go around the back. You say you want to buy all my chickens? Yeah, I got a big appetite. Now here's the dough. We're going to have to talk about this, son. Oh! Grappling hook, Rody. Really, Dan? That's okay, Kuma. There's nothing in a farm that's dangerous. Just rabbits, chickens. Maybe a bull. A bull! <laughs> Chickens! 
Yes. But how do we tell which one is the professor's? This one? Or this one? Ouch! Well, if it isn't my favorite bird brain. Just take the money. I don't want to be here the rest of my life. Chicken accomplished. But we still don't have the slightest idea what this is all about. I'm heading for the ghost town, Dan. Maybe we'll be able to find out something there. Let's hope so. Because I'm certainly not collecting chickens for my health. <laughs> See you there. Byron's got the professor. And somewhere in this bunch of birds, I've got the chicken. Brody, quick! Right! the professor. Before they do. The flute? What flute? It must be here. My assistants and I made this old jail into our makeshift headquarters. Why out here in the middle of nowhere, Professor? This ancient parchment tells of a tribe that hid a fabulous treasure long ago, and I found it. Where? Out there, inside the mountain. I was making preparations to reach it, but my assistants got greedy. They wanted it for themselves. I'm afraid they got the flute. I don't get it. What's the flute got to do with it? Yeah, and how does the chicken help you? Ah! It doesn't. It helps us. Hey! I'd love to win. I don't 
don't like the looks of this roadie. Help! Roadie! Wheels! Come on! Get us out of here! We better do something, Wheels. Let's check our memory banks. I've got it. Look on user six. Right, I'll do it. I'm better equipped. Just stand back, everyone. Front shield engaged. Hey, we make a good combination. Your muscle and my brain. I like that. They've gone after the treasure. Hurry! Come on, Kuma. Down you go. I just hope you remember the tune. Hey, give me some credit. I'm not as dumb as I look. That's got it. Come on. There's the opening. Locked out! If only I could duplicate that music. The music would open the door? No, the chicken would hear it. The chicken? Well, I don't think this is the time to worry about entertaining the chicken. I have no time to explain. If only we had that flute. But Dan, Tess, Rody can do it. Really? Can you, Rody? You bet, Dan. I can reproduce flutes, horns. Let me show them, Rody. A one and a two and a three. Just the tip of the iceberg. Come on. Ah, come to Papa. Well, Shelly, didn't I tell you this would be better than going back to the unemployment line? Stop! You're surrounded. That ruby belongs to the U.S. government. Hand it over. Come here and get it! Hey, let's shine a spotlight on the heroes. I can't see! That was a good one, Byron! I've always been quick on my feet. No good. That car's right on my tail. Ha, I think I'll hop a lift. You 
two stay here? It's time for a little high wire act. Won't be long now. little something for the lady? Thanks. It's a job well done. Your assistants are in jail. The ruby is safely in hand, and your archaeological discovery is protected. Thanks to your assistance. Now that everything's settled, will you please explain one thing? How, How did, did you, you get, get the, the idea, idea to use, use a chicken? chicken? Make it two things. I want to know about the flute music. Me too. The opening in the cave was too small for a human. But the hieroglyphics showed that the ancient tribe trained birds to respond to music and peck out the code that would open the door. It took me months to train that chicken to hear my flute tune and duplicate the action that would move that boulder. And it's such a nice tune, too. Oh, I hope it doesn't take you that long to untrain it. <laughs> 